Wow, welcome to my first YouTube video. Well, not exactly my first YouTube video, but you get the idea. I'd like to welcome you to my channel where I plan on doing tons of videos focused on photography and videography, helping you grow and myself grow as we go on this journey together. But after reading the title and clicking the video, this is probably the last thing you wanna hear, so let's get down to business. As photographers and videographers, our most used piece of equipment is probably our cameras. I've loved my full frame DSLRs, so I really haven't had a reason to switch. It wasn't until I started doing more and more video that I realized that my D750 and my D810 just weren't cutting it for what I needed. The thing that kept me from switching was the fact that I'd have to sell all of my cameras, buy new cameras, learn that system all on the fly while trying to continue to do my job as a professional. And you know what that's like. We don't have time for that when we're constantly having to go from shoot to shoot and edit and there's just no time. So that's why I made this video to discuss why you should switch from a DSLR to mirrorless in 2021. All right, so if you're new to photography, you might be asking, what's a DSLR? What's mirrorless? What's the difference between the two? Let me give you a little bit of info. DSLR stands for Digital Single Reflex Lens. So what this means is that light passes through the front of the camera and bounces off of a mirror, which goes into the viewfinder and you see what the lens sees. Now in a mirrorless camera, that mirror apparatus is removed hence the name mirrorless. Instead, the light goes through the lens and directly hits the sensor. And instead of it being bounced into a viewfinder, mirrorless cameras have an electronic viewfinder. So you see a little screen that shows an almost real time view of what the camera is seeing. The great benefits to this is that you can see exactly how the photo is gonna expose rather than just the image. Like I said, for the last few years, I've been content with my DSLR. I haven't wanted to move on to that next new technology, but that's kind of how it's always been in photography. When digital cameras got introduced, a lot of the film photographers said, you know, I'm going to stick with my film. But as the years went on, a lot of them switched over and are now shooting digital, even though they still may carry film with them, they're relying heavily on digital more than they were film. And I see that being the direction that we're going in over this next decade as Nikon, Sony, Canon are all producing top of the line mirrorless cameras along with Panasonic, but we won't talk about that. Now you're thinking, what are the reasons to switch? These are some of the reasons I switch and I hope they give you a better idea of why you might want to or might not want to switch to mirrorless. The biggest selling point to me was the EVF. The EVF is the electronic viewfinder. A lot of times when I'm at a shoot, you don't have that opportunity to really be able to dial in exactly what you want in a photo. The worst thing is to be sitting there chimping on the back of your camera to see if you got the shot in front of a client and it just takes away from your professionalism. For me with this camera now, I'm able to take a photo and stay looking through the viewfinder and know whether or not I nailed that exposure. And I kind of already know that because the photo's exposed beforehand. Another thing that I really feel like the electronic viewfinder helps with is making sure you don't get those back focus shots. A lot of times the lenses and the autofocus systems in these cameras aren't perfect. And I know it's a lot better with the Z6, but when I would shoot with my D810 or my D750, I would swear I got a shot and then I'd go and look at my computer and I would notice that it was focused on the bush behind the bride rather than on the bride. So with this, I'm now able to zoom in, make sure everything's good, take my time to get that shot. So I only have to shoot once and I don't have to shoot seven images to make sure that I got the right photo. The next thing that sold me on moving to a mirrorless camera was the weight. As a wedding photographer, I spend eight to 10 hours a day carrying two bodies on me throughout the entirety of the day. It all adds together. You're talking 20 pounds worth of weight extra, pulling your shoulders down all the time. So for me, going from the D750 and the D810 to a Z6 drastically removed the weight to the point where, I mean, I've only been able to shoot one wedding so far with it this year, but I could tell instantly that I wasn't gonna be shrugging my shoulders all day because I'm carrying all this extra weight. The next thing I wanna talk about is autofocus. Mirrorless cameras over the last few years have been able to slowly start to catch up with the capabilities of the autofocus features of DSLRs. And might I say they kind of surpassed them. With mirrorless cameras having their autofocus systems built directly onto the sensor rather than onto a module that's outside of the sensor, it just gives 
the opportunity to have so much more room to have your autofocus sensor points than on a DSLR where you're kind of stuck in this little box on the screen. Not only that, the autofocus on these cameras are amazing. I haven't had an issue with the autofocus on this camera as much as I would with my D750 or my D810. The next reason why I recommend switching over is the lens selection. The thing that kept me from switching from Nikon to Sony was the fact that I had already invested so much money into lenses for my cameras that I didn't want to have to lose out and have to buy new lenses for a new system of cameras. But when the Z system dropped, they also dropped with the FTZ adapter, which now allows me to use all of my old lenses and be able to buy new lenses for the Z system and all of them be compatible. So to be able to have all your lenses and that great autofocus that I talked about, it's a no brainer why you should switch. Like I said in the beginning, I've been doing a lot more video work, so it made sense for me to get a camera that suited the needs of the video work that I was doing. With my old cameras, I wasn't able to get that really good quality that I wanted and I wasn't able to shoot in flat profiles without getting tons of artifacts in the shadows. With this camera, I'm able to shoot 120 frames per second so I can get that really cinematic slow-mo. I have in-camera stabilization, which helps to be able to get that really nice, cool handheld shots without needing the gimbal. And overall, it just has brought my video quality to that next level. So as we go into 2021, I hope you're able to take some of the information I gave you today and figure out what makes the most sense for you and going forward. And I hope that you, like I did, make the switch over to mirrorless. Thank you.